Hello friends, welcome back. So today when it comes to Mac OS Sequoia, I'm happy to let you know that we have a new software update that we can update our Macs to. And as you can see right there, this is Mac OS Sequoia 15.5 developer beta 2. At the time of recording, this update comes in for me on my MacBook Pro at exactly 2.62 gigs. And I was updating for Mac OS Sequoia 15.5 beta 1. Just to keep you updated and in the loop, you can see some other updates that were released alongside this. We have beta 2 versions of iOS and iPadOS 18.5. We have macOS 15.5 beta 2 of course. We got tvOS 18.5 beta 2, visionOS 2.5 beta 2, watchOS 11.5 beta 2. And for all the versions of macOS, we also got other updates such as macOS Ventura 13.7.6 RC1 and macOS Sonoma. 14.7.6 RC1. Most of these updates that you see here, I do cover on the channel at Halfman Half Tech. So if you want to keep up to date and know what these software updates have to offer, definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you stay updated. Now what I'm going to do is quickly update my Mac to this new version. And then we're going to look at some of the new changes that this software update has to offer. Mac OS users are always looking for the best tools to boost their productivity. And one such tool that a lot of them use is Office 2021 for home and business. And what's even better today is that I've got a deal you definitely don't want to miss that provides you up to 62% off MS Office 2021 exclusively through KissFan. This is a one-time purchase with no reoccurring payments or fees and it includes classic apps such as Excel, Word, PowerPoint and Outlook fully optimized for macOS with features like Retina display support and Spotlight search. And the best part is you can use it offline anyway. You can grab this amazing deal on KissFan where they offer genuine OEM software at unbeatable prices with 24 seven customer support. Buying is really simple. Just click the link in the description and then add Office 21 to your cart just like this. This is the price without using my exclusive discount code. So you can click the drop down menu right there and then use the coupon code half 62 and click apply. And now you can see the total price has been slightly by 62% and this is the price after the discount right there. Next step, just proceed to checkout. Input your information, including your email address and click continue. And now you can see here, you have the ability to choose a payment method where you can choose PayPal or credit card via PP. So if you're looking for Office or other softwares alike for Mac or Windows, check the links in the description of this video. Remember half 62 for 62% off for Mac and for Windows, I didn't forget about you. Use half 50 for 50% off and shout out to KissFan for sponsoring during this segment of the video. Just like that, my device has now been updated to the latest version. If we go into the settings and then just go to the storage, you can see how much Mac OS is taking. And right here, it's 22.67 gigs. If we click on the more info tab, you can see the build number that we have right here. It's 24F5053F. So it does end with an F as well. And what this means is that we still have a couple more betas to go before this is officially released to the public. The space that Apple intelligence is occupying is 11.59 gigs and I feel like it's slightly increased compared to the previous version that I was coming from. In terms of what's new or what update or recent changes that Apple has implemented. One of the change is right here. If we go to the app store, you can see we have three updates that are available right there and you can see them right here. And these are the iWorks. You can see that is numbers, pages and keynotes. So these were released not with this update, but recently. And you can see here some of these add new features and changes while others have to do with bug fixes. So if you haven't updated your documents, then you might want to check your app store for the latest updates that it has to offer. Another change that this update has is with Safari. So if we go to about Safari right there, you can see the version is still the same version 18.5 but the build number has slightly been incremented this is the version that we had before and after updating you can see now we have dot two dot three dot one one dot one and this has to do with minor bug fixes and nothing major has been found with regards to this with the previous beta one update of mac OS 15.5 this is how the general and info tab when you go to your apple care and warranty information 
section you can see we had a lot of wasted space at the top of this window and now after updating to this if we go into the system settings right there and then go to epoch and warranty you can see that now this page sort of loads a little bit faster and at the same time you can see that whole wasted space that was unoccupied at the top has been removed the font was updated from the previous beta one and the changes continue to carry forward and at the same time if you now click on a device that has coverage or if you want to get info on it now this page loads unlike before where certain users were reporting that this page loads up blank or sometimes loads infinitely something that's a little bit odd at this point in time is the fact that we haven't actually seen macOS 15.5 betas come out to the public yet so at this point in time this is the developer beta 2 that you're seeing so not entirely sure what's going on or if there are any hidden issues that might show themselves but i'll continue to test this update and then let you know as this goes on there was an issue that i experienced before as you can see you know i use ecamm live to record this video and with the previous update in one of my other videos because i use this mac on a daily i had an issue where uh, some of the applications that i use on a daily such as ecamm live or photoshop would crash unexpectedly luckily ecamm live automatically saves my recording when an app crashes like that but with this update at this point in time and from the few hours i've been using this update you know with this device and my other test mac i haven't experienced any issues yet so hopefully this means that those panic crashes or random application crashes hopefully have been resolved if that continues to be an issue then i'll definitely update you with mac os 16 being around the corner you can see that this is a limited feature availability update and hopefully that means with limited features we get limited bugs because a lot of mac os users from what i saw are actually on mac os sonoma and ventura because they don't want to update and face issues with this mac os sequoia so sometimes it is a good thing not having a lot of features now if you go into the mail application you can see that we have a show contact photo option that is now readily accessible that makes the mail application must look more lively and more modern and this can be utilized by anyone so that you can see the pictures or images associated to different individuals or companies that you have emails from this update also fixes an issue with apple intelligence features might not be available and you might actually see a downloading screen so that has been fixed and if you are using a vpn in third-party browsers and you are experiencing issues with the previous mac os 15.4 this update fixes that issue and, and there is also a fix for an issue where pro display calibrator for customizing display calibration using the pro display uh, calibrator itself caused a system reboot on the 14 inch and 16 inch macbook pros so that has been resolved and there's also a fix when it comes to the ultra low latency and the lossless audio for airpods max with usb-c in terms of performance, I did run Geekbench 6 scores and you can see previously on macOS 15.5 beta 1, these are the scores that I had for single core 2260 and for multi core 9596 and then on beta 2, I also ran Geekbench just to see how it performs or it compares to that one and this one is significantly lower for single core i got a score of 2160 and for multi core 7903 so you can see a uh, single core multi core in both areas we are down significantly if that improves over the course of time and if maybe certain things in the background are still settling if that improved then we'll find out in my next follow-up video now for those users that are actually not on the beta of mac os 15.5 we are expecting to see a new mac os update mac os 15.4.2 pretty soon we might see that hopefully by this week or maybe 
by next week according to different reports and not forgetting that wwdc 2025 is going to be coming around the corner where we are going to see mac os 16 the first developer beta on june 9th so i'll be covering that and if you want to keep up to date definitely do hit like and subscribe so that you stay up to date my name is ben and i'm signing off